Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will discuss about the conversion of number systems. I will discuss about uh, the topic conversion of number systems. Uh, in the last session, we already discussed, uh, we started the uh, types of number systems uh, and I already explained what are the types and uh, how the functionalities uh, and what are the digits in each and every number system. Now in this session, I will explain about uh, conversion of number system. Conversions. Conversions. Conversions means we'll be having uh, various conversions. Uh, first, in this session, I would like to explain how to convert decimal to binary decimal to binary and after that decimal to octal decimal to octal how to convert decimal number system to octal number system and third one decimal to hexadecimal decimal to hexadecimal guys here I will explain in this session only these three parts uh, and in the remaining uh, upcoming sessions I will explain the remaining conversions okay so first we will discuss about uh, decimal to binary decimal to octal and uh, decimal to hexadecimal in this session okay first let us look at uh, first conversion that is uh, decimal to binary as the first term is decimal if you take any value let us take a small example here to explain all these three conversions I will take small examples in this session uh, for these small examples uh, try to understand uh, how to convert any decimal number into binary number octal number and hexadecimal number in the next session I will take a few more examples uh, which are having some uh, bigger numbers so that you can easily understand the conversion from decimal to binary decimal to octal and decimal to hexadecimal okay now let us take a small number 24 small number 24 and uh, always keep it in mind if you want to convert any type of number system into any type of number system base value is very important base value here if you use the base is 10 then only this number is uh, denoted as decimal number or otherwise you cannot say exactly this number might be a octal number this number might be a hexadecimal number so in order to men uh, identify that particular number is belongs to any kind of number system base value is very important okay here 24 base 10 24 base 10 means this is decimal number this is decimal number now I want to convert this decimal number into binary number into binary number how to convert any kind of decimal number into binary number I will explain now see here to convert any decimal number into binary number binary means what binary number is having exactly two digits binary number is having two digits so divide the given decimal number with two successively here divide 24 that is a given decimal number with two successively 24 divided by 2 12 and write down the remainder at this position remainder is very important you must write down the remainder here it is 12 times and the remainder is 0 and next again divided by 2 here it is 6 times and the remainder is again 0 now again divide uh, 6 with 2 3 times remainder is 0 now if you divide 3 with 2 here 1 time and the remainder is 1 remainder is 1 2 ones are 2 still you left over with 1 as remainder once the division process is completed you need to write from bottom to top you need to write from bottom to top in this pattern so it means that 24 base 10 this is a given decimal number and its respect to binary number is write down from bottom onwards here it is 1 1 triple 0 
one one triple zero base two. Here you must and should represent the base value. Why? Because uh, if you doesn't mention this base value. Again, the question mark is whether this particular number is belongs to what kind of number system. So the base value is very important. Double one triple zero base two. So this is a conversion from decimal to binary. Right? First conversion is completed. Now I will take the second one. I will take the second one, which is decimal to octal. Second one is decimal to octal. How to convert any decimal number into octal number? Now, let us take a, a small example, 58. Small example, 58, and the base value is 10. Base value is 10. Here, to convert any decimal number into octal number, octal means total 8 digits. Octal number is having how many digits? 8 digits. So, if you want to convert any decimal number into octal number, you must divide that particular decimal number with 8. You must divide that particular decimal number with 8. Uh, if you take uh, 58, uh, it might be only one division. So, better to take uh, 158. Better to take uh, 158. How many times? Here it is uh, one time and next uh, 78. 78 in the sense uh, 8 1s are 8. 78 uh, that is 9 times. 19 8s uh, 172. 19 8s uh, are uh, sorry uh, 162. I think so. Right. Uh, here it is 72 means uh, uh, 9 times 8 9 uh, 6 is the remainder. Right. 6 is the remainder. Again you have to divide this 19 with 8. Uh, here, how many times? 8 to the 16. 8 to the 16. 3 is the remainder. 8 to the 16. 3 is the remainder. 8 into 19, which is equal to 152. 152 plus 6, 158. And next, divide the number 19 with 8. 2 times. Remainder is 3. Once the division process is done, you have to divide, you have to write down from reverse order, not from top to bottom. You have to write down from bottom to top. Therefore, 158 base 10, 158 base 10, which is equal to 236 base 8, 236 base 8. This is a way of converting decimal to octal, decimal to octal. This is a second conversion. Now, third and final conversion in this session, which is a decimal to hexadecimal. Decimal to hexadecimal. That is third one. Decimal to hexadecimal. See, decimal to hexadecimal. I will take one small example of instead of uh, here hexadecimal means uh, 16 digits. Uh, total 16 digits, right? So, you must take at least uh, three digit number if you if you take a two digit number you will not get a correct uh, you know uh, more number of steps at least two steps are required to divide okay so better to take a 564 okay 564 base 10 564 base 10 here base 10 indicates this is a decimal number now i want to convert this uh, decimal number into hexadecimal number so divide the given decimal number 564 with 16 successively why because uh, 564 uh, here hexadecimal number is having total 16 digits uh, 16 numbers uh, so divide the given decimal number with uh, 16 uh, 16 3 48 and next uh, uh, 8 is left over, 84. 84 in the sense 16 fives. 16 fives or 80. Still the remainder is uh, 4. Remainder is 4. Now again you can divide 16 with uh, 35 is 16. 16 2 sir. 16 2 sir 32. And the remainder is 3. Remainder is how much? 3. Once the division is done, then you can write down from reverse order. That is from bottom to top order. So, 564 base 10 
which is equal to 2, 3, 4, base 16. Here, this is the uh, given decimal number and its conversion to hexadecimal number, which is nothing but uh, 2, 3, 4, base uh, 16. This is a way of converting uh, decimal to hexadecimal number and uh, decimal to octal number as well as decimal to binary number. Here, if you want to convert decimal to binary, divide the given decimal number with 2. If you want to convert uh, decimal to octal, divide the given decimal number with 8. For hexadecimal number, given the uh, divide that given decimal number with uh, 16. The, so, you can convert all those uh, decimal numbers into respect to binary, octal and hexadecimal number systems. In the next session, we will discuss some more uh, conversions. Uh, so, guys, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.